Hello, moon babies. It's Molly. Welcome. Welcome to the channel. It's really good to be here with you today. I wanted to offer you a bit of inspiration in the form of a grimoire lookbook and at the same time answer some of your burning grimoire questions. <laughs> so grab a cuppa, let's do some flipping and talk magical books. Over the years, I've received hundreds of emails asking two questions. The first being, what goes in my grimoire? And the second is, I want to know if it's okay to put blank in my grimoire. Here's the answer, moon babies. You put whatever you damn well please in your grimoire. There is no grimoire police. There is no grimoire association board that will approve or disapprove of your book. <laughs> there are no grimoire Olympic judges. <laughs> if something delights you, put it in your grimoire. If it's interesting to you, if it says something about you as a witch, if it makes you laugh, if it inspires you and gets you in touch with your magic, put it in your grimoire. Make the things you put in your grimoire stuff you like <laughs> or information you use regularly if you're a very organized kind of art witch. If you're worried about collecting all the right herbal information but you don't actually use herbs in your practice, you do not have to put giant lists of herbs in your book. Now, if you are a green wizard and you love and reference herbal information regularly, then by all means, list your heart out. Your grimoire is not a book report. Your grimoire is a tool, it's a companion, it's a ritual object, it's a lie. Now, if you want to be a monk and dutifully copy every speck of information you find from other sources into your book because that's fun for you and tickles you, then do that. And if you want to finger paint while in trance or bury your book, do that. <laughs> you have permission to make your magical book anything you want it to be and anything it wants to be. Another question I receive frequently is why do I call it a grimoire and how is a grimoire different from any other kind of spell book? I personally choose to call my book a grimoire because that feels right for me. Historically, a grimoire was a spell book, a spell book that included instructions. Some of the other common names for magical books um, or journals belong to traditions that I'm not a part of. So grimoire feels comfortable for me. You can call your book a journal, a book of light, a book of shadows, a book of mirrors. You can call it Steve. <laughs> it is your book. Name it however you please. I'd also like to take this opportunity to gently remind you that you are allowed to have more than one grimoire. Yes, you are allowed to have more than one grimoire. <laughs> Isn't that great? I currently have four working grimoires. Why? Because I work differently in all of them. Having multiple grimoires gives me a lot of flexibility around the materials I use, the size I wish to work, and the subject matter that I'm interested in. Maybe your grimoire is a beautiful book that you've bound yourself. Maybe it's a sketchbook, a found book. It could also be a ring binder, a keychain ring book, a collection of scrolls, a folio of loose papers, a receipt organizer full of recipe cards, or a combination of 
all of those things. I've begun thinking about my grimoire not as one specific book, but as a magical library that grows along with me. Your grimoire doesn't have to be a codex. Books are so much more than a spine and pages. So if you are super stuck in your book, consider trying another book-like format and see if it loosens the flow and inspires you to create. Think outside the box. I know you can do it. I hope this little lookbook and grimoire pep talk <laughs> gets your inner art which all fired up and feeling tingly. <laughs> I'd like to extend enormous gratitude to my patrons who make these videos possible and invite you to join us on Patreon for a Grimoire Club, which is a tier entirely devoted to magical books and art magic. So thank you so much for tuning in and for watching moon babies until we speak again witch on witch boldly and be well my friends <laughs>